Welcome back, everybody. Um, this is our fresh playthrough of the Destiny 2 free-to-play getting geared up for the September expansion. This is a full playthrough of the New Light account, skipping only non-relevant quests that don't benefit us for going forward to September. Previously, we did the intro story mission and everything, and we're going to be progressing with getting our light level up. It does say we can do a mission here, but we're not going to do that. Um, we're going to continue going and we're going to do a Vanguard Strike Arms Dealer. Okay, we're doing Arms Dealer. Okay, hold on. We got something for that. What was it? <laughs> something popped up. It's Eververse. What was it? Tess has an engram for us. All right, cool. We'll go get that later. We can do it while we fly into the strike. So is it arms? It's straight up arms dealer, huh? Okay, ordeals require forsaken because it's a dreaming city strike. That is fine. We'll see if we even match anybody for this. So we're going to do this strike and get this little quest out of the way. And we're just going to keep progressing. So getting XP is the main goal here, trying to just get the world out of the way. So as we go, we're going to be grabbing bounties and hopefully unlocking crucible vendors so we can start getting some major increases in our power level. Crucible is one of the fastest ways to level up if you're going just to level up. If you want to just enjoy Destiny in its main form, play through the... The story missions, you can get those from Amanda Holiday, like I said in the first episode. Or you can follow this guide here and just do what I'm working towards. So I'm working towards primarily focusing on getting the exotics open, grabbing those exotics, and then pushing from there. Hey, we got people. Free waffles. Cool. Wait for it. You just stop behind this. <laughs> Uh, oh, we're waiting for somebody to load in. Oh, this might be bad. I'm hiding in this corner. Should I leave my new emblem on, or should I switch to, switch to something else so people don't know I'm, like, brand new? No, just think it's, like, a new character. Joining a clan, again, very beneficial for what you're doing. Don't shoot me. We're waiting, dude. The guy's still loading in. There's nothing we can do about that. Nar. All right, we're going to get a little goody here. What do you want? <laughs> Where's this fucking Nar guy? I probably shouldn't be swearing, but hey, what? It's fine. <laughs> he left. So yes, here is an issue with free to play. <laughs> so that guy's either his internet was bad or he lagged out or something like that. So oh nice. Okay, this is good. So we do plan on spending a little bit of time on EDZ. So getting 10% more XP gains while on EDZ. This is a good ghost as our first pull. That's awesome. Plus we can see resources 30 meters out. That's that's pretty good. So that's, yeah, that, that's great. I mean, fantastic. We can use that right off the bat. If it's the same guy, I'm going to lose it. No, okay, good. One, two. 
There we go. We're on! Probably gonna switch to top three solar for this. Wait, are they going after the weapons guy? You said I could do that one. We need to get further into the base. Uh, glimmer shimmers on the ground making that weird sound, so make sure you pick it up. Good luck, fire team. Oh, these guys are gonna hate me. It's got a hard light. This guy's running a sword. And I've got a rocket launcher. Boop. So, the reason I chose to do a new, like, full new light is if somebody was, like, interested in what happened um, with the reveals that we had recently, they'd be interested in coming to play the game. But there's not a lot of, like, step-by-step, -step, all the way up guides in getting you through Destiny. And while Destiny is a fairly structured game... Um, ooh, look at that. You can streamline it a little bit more to what you want to achieve with the game itself. Getting those quick kills in here. So I'm probably only gonna get like a few, um, probably like one strike in here and then go from that. Probably hit a PvP match. Just do our like first strike. If we get access to PvP, our first PvP match as well. Um, and then that'll be, that'll kind of culminate our first two videos here so hopefully we'll hit um with the drops we get we can get 770 so we can push our light just a little bit more here and start gearing up towards getting to the about the thousand area so that we can be kind of more towards the relevant timing for end game for our level frame sorry here, drive, go left, here, here, and over here. There we go. Hi, bud. So a little trick for that one. If you guys are going to do um, ordeals or grandmasters, that's a good trick because you want to get through that area because it's a, an absolute cluster. Here we've got the tank. Let this reload. No sign of Zahn. That elevator is the only way forward. Forward and up. You don't have to kill that first one. We can skip that. So we'll hit this. Now we're going to leave. We're going to go over far right. Jump up over here. Here. Going to hand in this one. So the next time I see a shielded enemy, we're gonna we're, we'll cover. Oh, this guy right here. So he's got a solar. My weapon here is solar. If I hit him, it's gonna do more damage because it's a matching damage type. Keep that in mind when you're doing some of the content. If you shoot an enemy shield and it's like barely doing any damage, you're probably using the wrong damage type on it. You want to make sure you use the right one.
kill all them for ammo. And we keep going. Reload everything as we go. Rash and save a bite of that. <laughs> so you just gotta do a little bit of damage to this guy to get him to move. And then focus your attention to the other side here. Let's reload. Shoot there. Oh, it missed! We're gonna ignore that guy and we're gonna go with our buddies here. We want to kill, there's a wanted guy down here, because it's going to give us some stuff. There he is. Another umbrella I can't hand in! <laughs> oh no! I was so excited. I was like, ooh, a legendary drop. Not a legendary at all. An umbral. Oh my god. I hope these guys got some mad DPS for this plant. And I got a tracking rocket launcher, and that's about it. Now we've got to I'm gonna throw this to gate him. Buddy here. I'll probably kill him there. Come. So you want to kill that boss as soon as possible? Oh! <laughs> Legendary. No! Don't joke about that. <laughs> That's actually a good thing happened right there. So I spawned down below. <laughs> so all the loot's up there. But what's gonna happen is that's just gonna go to my postmaster. So we need to go see Zavala anyway. Some gains, minor, but we're going. Um, you can choose to shard your armor. Um, you don't get much from this stuff anyway. Uh, I'm gonna keep it because 750 armor is pretty fun to throw on every now and then. And once you get to a certain point, you can't pull it anymore anyway. So. And we have a tower with nobody in it. The servers have not been kind recently. This is broken too. There we go. Hey, it's muted! <laughs> 
This is actually one of my clanmates. <laughs> He's got no idea it's me. I don't think he knows this tag. Hello, Guardian. That's fantastic. Alright, so now we got bounties. So let's see what these look like. So these are about 6,000 XP each. So complete a strike. Get melees while doing strikes. Get kills while doing strikes. So all these don't expire. So we're going to pick all these up. Because these don't expire at all. But we are going to go to a PvP match. Why would he be in his inventory? <laughs> I hope he sees that. Okay, so we still can't access this. Introductory Crucible, what do we have to do now? Do bounties. Okay, cool. So can we access Crucible yet? As a fresh free-to-play. We can. Okay. So, what time do we have? Let's do one more strike. Okay, so we actually have the strike playlist now. So, solar, blackout, grind. Actually, that's perfect. Yeah, we're gonna do we're gonna do the strike because this is actually gonna be uh, beneficial. So, blackout's a little harsh, but solar singe and grenadier is not. So if you are new, um, Vanguard Strikes have modifiers on them, so that's what these are. So you get Solar Singe means that all solar abilities and solar damage types are going to be uh, much more potent. Blackout is not a good one, that's bad. <laughs> and Grenadier gives us increased uh, recharge rate on our grenades, which is one of our bounties because we need to get grenade kills. So we're actually going to go do this because doing this is going to give us one full rank up package, which is going to give us legendary loot. So, each one of these is 10, it's 20 to level up, from Zavala, so. So we need power weapons, 10 kills, that's a little rough. Uh, supers, all that fun stuff. Alright, cool. This guy just ran the other direction. Welcome to Nessus. Oh, oh, this where's that? This planet is crawling in the mix. The Red Legion is sitting crews. Do you know why? Failsafe, are you online? So we are going to be farming some of these kills first. Thanks for these guys to do all the work. So now... So with them getting rid of some of the stuff coming up here, um, this planet's fine. Nessus should be fine. Um, we need to get ahead of these guys because they're going to kill stuff way faster than us. While we're flying, I'm going to take a look quick. Some melees. Strike super. Okay. Super one might be a little. We're on Dawnblade. We might be able to get 10 kills with it. You're all 
We're gonna try to get a couple with melee here. Excellent. I don't know if I hit anything with that frog and launcher shot I did earlier. What have you done to attract such hostile species to my planet? Rest easy, Philson. The Guardian has them. The fact that that thing is locking is. If he gets on his sparrow, we're gonna get these kills that are here. Yeah, okay, good. All right. And of course, the drills have armed crews. So if he didn't move that fast through this, we'd be able to farm some kills here. So we're just going to have to jump right into here and try to get one. Right there, right there. That's where we want to go. So on this subclass, the reason why I'm flying in the air when I do everything... ...is the more kills I get in air, the faster my melee regenerates. That hurt. <laughs> uh, four more, three more, three more, and strike complete. Okay. I'm gonna reload this real quick. Walk into that. No, he's not gonna walk into it. Here, we're gonna get the melee kill, and we're also gonna jump in the air when we do it. One bounty done. Let's hope this thing launches in the right direction. It's going to be a short trip. Four more power weapon kills, three super kills. Oh no! Don't hit me, I'm weak. We're almost for a super. Might let these guys go forward if they're gonna actually kill stuff. Because they've got masterwork weapons. So masterworking weapons, um, that's leveling them up uh, on legendary gear to max. Gives you the ability to generate orbs whenever you kill stuff. Orbs of light. 
So it absorbs light to help me generate my super, and then I can use it more often. Almost there. I'll be able to use it on the boss. Oh, he's going to drive his sparrow. Nice. I don't have any heavy, so that's unfortunate. There we go. I might use it here, actually, just to get my kills. Because if these guys are running good stuff, we're just going to nuke this boss. And it's not really going to do me any good. I'll try and pop my super there, because everything will just die. So we got three of the quests done. We just got to complete the strike now. Yeah, this guy's got anarchy. We're set. On again. All right, we're at the top again. <laughs> that was funny. All right. Complete inverted spire. Cool. So when you complete strikes, all the loot just kind of craps out all over the ground here. We're going to pick all this up because we just got two secondaries and a new set of robes. Or chest armor, whatever you want to call it. So the older stuff, um, I don't really need the power levels. I don't want to like, you don't infuse any of this. You just kind of leave it there. Um, and we are pushing to try and increase this main power level. So we're just going to put this stuff on. I'm not going to get rid of this because running these is a bad idea. I'm going to keep this for when we do just regular missions for now. We've got all of our stuff on looking good. Uh, bounties, we're going to hand them in. So we've got all but the power weapon kills done. We can always do that later, though. So let's hand these in. Get some uh, XP. And some tokens. It kind of sucks we didn't get this done, but that's fine. We can come back and do it later. And we unlock Titan. So just by handing in those bounties, we unlocked our first destination. But you can see as we're going, we are getting XP towards the next one. So... The next one after this is Nessus. We're over halfway there. And we're just going to keep leveling these as we go. So the more bounties that we end up getting done, the faster we're going to get all these planets. And that's the most efficient way is to do the bounties. Unfortunately, it is. Now, when we get full access to the bounties from all the vendors, we have repeatables, which will make the process even faster. Those cost a bunch of glimmer each, about 3,000 glimmer each. So they can get a little bit more expensive if you're new and you're running low on glimmer. Which I would be. But as you delete stuff, you will get glimmer from deleting things. So shaders, when you get them, anything else like that. Oh, we have enough to get an engram, so that's fine. That's terrible. I can't believe I can't use those. So you can see there, I just got glimmer for deleting that. We do have some stuff in our postmaster. Maybe some gear. Checking, checking, checking. Yep. <gasps> Legendary engram. Very nice. We got boots and a mod. The downside is it's lower than our current one, but it is purple. So first piece of purple gear, as you can see here, this one has a power level of 1260, which means as a base piece of gear for us going forward, this will hold us for 200 power levels into next season. So this is a good piece of armor just to keep for now. 
It's not a great stat roll, mind you, but it is something we can start build crafting with putting mods on onto this. So we are going to keep this. I'm not going to wear it because it's low power, but we're going to keep it. Let's begin. Got another ghost shell. And we have access to bounties. Excellent. So all of these bounties give us XP. The main bounties, the dailies, these ones are quite easy to complete. And I will show a way that we're going to do them a little bit faster once we hit, I think it's 800 power level. We will get access to be able to do these dailies and repeatables in a much expedited process. So we'll be able to get them done way faster once we have a surplus of glimmer. Um, let's hand these in, see what we get. The world loot pool for this is only a very select amount of weapons, but it does include gear. So you can get armor, you can get weapons from these engrams. It doesn't separate it. So let's see what we get. Oh, we got a sidearm. New primary. Actually, this is great. This is this is fantastic. So we got a demolitionist. So this will give our grenade energy back per kill. So this makes doing our grenade bounties even faster. So this is great. We got shaders. Cool. We're going to delete those for Glimmer. Yes, I saw. Thank you. And we will pick these up. Not today because we're going to go jump into one match of PvP, but we will. So it costs 20 from the vendor, 20 of the tokens from the vendor to get them. And you get those from doing bounties, running the strikes. Um, you can do nightfalls to get the emblems, which give you a little bit more as well. So. That should open us up. Introduction worlds. Do I have to finish the entire introduction quest first? To get access to PvP? You're alive, Guardian. Fight Looks like it. Okay, cool. So we're just gonna do a quick match of PvP then with what we've got. We're not gonna use the sidearm, but we're gonna just We're gonna go to control. Control basically being the the quote unquote beginner playlist. This is where it focuses you when you actually get the quest. Um, but you can do any of them. The we're just gonna go in here and do one match with the uh, let's do Kolostov, the shotgun, because we're sweaty. The tracking rocket launcher, yes, we're going to keep that. And it doesn't matter what we do here, because we're new lights. <laughs> cool, another emblem. So this playlist is um, supposed to be connection-based. Every now and then you will match against people that are way better and way more geared, which we'll probably see here. And that is just the way sixes are. If you want to do uh, skill based, skill based connection is going to be your elimination playlist, your trials of Osiris and survival, both freelance and regular. That's where you're going to run into your skill based matchmaking trials works on the card system. So on Friday, Saturday, Sunday and Monday. You can do buy a card from Saint 14 in the tower and go and play trials. Now there is a gate to that, so you can only play at a certain power level now, which is 1010. But after that, you can go in. But it is power enabled. So trials is power enabled. Keep that in mind if you decide you're gonna try that. If you are low power, you will get slapped a little bit by guys that are a higher power level. Keep that in mind. So, <laughs> this being a 600 RPM isn't actually the worst thing ever. We might actually be able to do really well with it. Gear locking, if you guys have stuff you don't want to delete, make sure you lock it. Hitting shift on your keyboard will lock an item and shift again to unlock it. Or you can just go in and hit the little lock symbol. There is universal ornaments. We don't have any right now. But you can shader these to look very different if you don't want the look of them to, to stay like that. Weapons aren't the same. There is weapon ornaments, but those are only for exotics and a few select legendaries. But so you can see we do have a game and we have some people that probably play. Yikes. Okay. 
Let's see how this goes. First match on the new light. First match on the new light. Burnout, we might go to the pulse on this. Um, we'll see what people are playing like. <laughs> and we'll see what kind of gear we get from this as well. We lost somebody. Cool. Thank you. Off my screen, please. So I actually got an assist there. I didn't actually get that kill. Sunshot. So this one is capture the flag. Ooh. I'm gonna heal up. I'm gonna die. Nope. Okay, we're alive. We're good. Really want a sniper rifle. I'm gonna help these guys out. So they're coming around this corner here. Oh! <laughs> we got sniped. <laughs> So, minimap for these game modes is really important. Glance up to the top left every now and then. We'll give you an indicator that there is somebody near you. That was a heavy. Zone C lost. Yikes. Alright, we gotta go. So we have A, but they are pushing it right now. Drop this here for anybody that comes around the corner. Refire that. Get him weak. Hopefully teammate kills him. Nope. This guy up there. We're getting the hell out of Dodge, boys. Reload this. Sniper. Come on back. Just took the lead. So they can't come back that way. This is the nade. That's a super. Is that our super? Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna capture this, and then we're gonna pop our Dawn Blade and go towards the enemy team on C. Popping behind cover. Tell them to line up 
Sword, look out! <laughs> Alright. Back on it. Guys up top on center, so we're not pushing that. Oh, I'm dead. I can guarantee these guys are very confused. There's a guy right here. out of that. I'm gonna try to close the gap a little bit with the shoddy. Oh! I missed with the shoddy. here keep an eye out they're all in center right now so we're gonna go this way that was a misclick don't do that okay is the guy coming this way or the shoddy I didn't see the pulse nade. You have advanced. A bag shoot. Yikes. Leave me alone, I'm only 750. You have advantage. Zone A lock. Gap top there, auto rifle. This guy on B right now. I'm gonna preemptively put this here. Wreck that super with a Kvostov. Yeah. My nade went out, but I got shot here. That sucks. We're gonna wait this out. I half expected somebody to jump there, that's why I shot that early. So that shut them down. So crouching does take you off the minimap for a split second. We're dead. Getting solo super does suck, by the way. Don't do that. That's a good game. Another umbral we can't use. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, not bad. 1.73 with a Kvostov. That's pretty solid. <laughs> All right. So let's see if we got any loot. We did uh, rank up, which means we probably got... Oh, we did. All right. So we went up uh, PvP rank here, which means we got drops. So in addition to that, we got a new bond. New helmet, which is higher than our other one. New primary, 769. So that brings us up again. Uh, oh. This is a pretty solid roll. So this one actually goes quite a bit more for our power level. So this is a good gun to actually get from the drop. So this one will carry uh, 1310. 
Uh, primary submachine gun, 900 RPM. You can't see it behind my camera, but it's 900 RPM. It comes with osmosis, which changes the damage type when you throw your grenade to match your damage type. And then overflow. Overflow turns the magazine on this gun from 38 to like 72. So this isn't a fantastic roll to get on this gun, actually. And yeah, like flared magwell for the reload speed. Or tactical mag, like, uh, this, it, it's, yeah, this is a good gun. All right. <laughs> we beat Destiny, uh, New Light. But, anyway, so we're gonna call it there. That's gonna be the, uh, that's gonna be the playthrough for today. The PvP match and the strike. That'll put this to about the same length as the previous video. If you guys are enjoying this series, make sure to let me know in the comments below. You can come watch live on twitch.tv slash reckonerdecks, where I play my main account. We do PvE, PvP. Um, we're going to probably be looking at the new dungeon too, as well. And mostly just hanging out with the clan members. So if you want to come out and check the stream out, that'd be fantastic. If not, let me know if you guys want to see something specifically through this playthrough in the comments below. And uh, if you have enjoyed the content, smash the like button and subscribe for future content. Thank you very much.